double time trial world champion, six-time Giro d'Italia stage winner and wearer of the pink jersey. Filippo Ganna, at 25 years of age, has an enviable palmarès on the road. But since 2016, he's been nothing short of dominant in timed events on the track. Gold at the Tokyo Olympics, no less than five world championship titles, and with a habit of breaking world records along the way. Uh, it's not so easy, I try to do, but uh, obviously sometimes it's more hard than normal. Sometimes uh, you prefer stay in the road than in the track, but uh, I like spend the time with uh, my friend, with my national team, and uh, sometimes it's easy for the atmosphere we can uh, create it together. But there remains one surface which he's failed to master. The cobble uh, is a little bit different to the boot in the track. I think uh, there's a lot of suffering <laughs> and uh, a lot of pain everywhere. Despite winning the under-23 Paris-Roubaix in 2016, Ghana has always failed to finish the main event. Nevertheless, in 2022, he's determined to use his power to conquer the cobblestones. When you finish the Paris-Roubaix, the first uh, you want to uh, remove shoes, uh, all clothes, uh, take one shower and try to do a little bit relaxed because uh, you are really tired. I need a little bit lucky this year uh, after the punch, uh, the mechanic problem. Uh. Back on the bike, swapped wheels, but he's going to have a big old chase to get back to the group that he was in. I need to uh, do an extra effort for coming back in the bunch uh, and also in Arenberg. Uh, maybe without uh, the experience, I spend too much energy and uh, the two sector after the 17 and the 16, I take uh, the cobble sector a little bit behind the bunch uh, and uh, when there is the cut in the middle of the, the bunch, uh, Another effort for come back in the front, uh, and I'm not a robot uh, and die in the in the storm. <laughs> for lucky, we have the uh, run in the end. Uh, have a fantastic things. The famous old concrete track belonging to Dylan from Barla, and for the first time in their history, to the Ineos Grenadiers. Every race is important for us, and uh, when uh, we have the number in the back, uh, we try to do the best uh, of we can. Uh, but obviously, the tour is the tour. 2022 will also mark his debut at the Tour de France. We have, I think, one of the most important team, one of the most uh, power team uh, in uh, in this moment, uh, and we hope uh, we can have, uh, we can, we'll have uh, also in the Tour de France. We have uh, Dani Martinez, uh, is really strong in the climb in this moment. Uh, we have seen in the TV the great performance. As usual, the Italian superstar will be destined to ride in support of his designated leader, but he will also have his own objectives in mind too. This year uh, I raced a lot in the France and uh, the first uh, big goal uh, is also that, uh, is the yellow jersey. We'll see if the products uh, can give me a good present or uh, I just suffer in there for nothing. <laughs> We hope uh, there isn't a lot uh, strong wind <laughs> and uh, we hope uh, my leg uh, can spin well. Uh, I think uh, a lot because uh, the yellow jersey is uh, another level. It's the first uh, tour, but I don't know. Everyone say it's fantastic. Uh, we will see. Uh, maybe after the tour we can do another interview and uh, I can say if it's true or not. <laughs>